Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka The Workman's Pomp, aka, I guess, too old for AKAs at this point. Today, I'm going to be talking about a collaboration. Now, if you're a long-time watcher, you're probably like, Brandon, you don't review collaborations. Are you tweaking? I am not tweaking, I promise you. Um, but I have a little exception to the rule. I'm going to be talking about one of the tarot cards, which is the Lockhart's line that's been out for some time where they do a collaboration with another brewer. I kind of made this exception because I noticed that the tarot cards keep coming out. They keep kind of like making them. So it's one of those things that you might see some more tarot card stuff for me in the future. Today I'm going to be talking about, you guessed it, the Lockhart's X Dauntless Grooming Ace of Swords tarot card, which is a activated clay spray. Now, comes as no surprise, Lockhart's is one of my first loves. A lot of the products work really well with my hair. I've been a fan of Steve and Nicole for a long time. I've, you know, really liked a lot of the stuff they put out, even though I haven't got to review all of it, although I'm getting to it. And then of course, Mike Smith of Modern Man TV. Uh, he's been a super nice guy to me, supported my channel, supported me as a friend for a really long time, but Put all of that aside, I really like a lot of his products. And I'm not just freaking, I'm not jacking any of these guys off, to be honest with you, not to sound crass, but it's like the products that Mike makes really works really well with my hair. The products that Steve makes, makes really, works really well with my hair. So when two of the, I guess you could say, one of the grandfathers of Modern Pomade, Lockhart's, and one of the new up-and-comers, Dauntless, aka Mike Smith, came out with a product. It caught my attention. And especially, as you can see, now that I have this nappy-ass John Wick-looking mullet hair going right now, how's that look? You like my mullet? <sighs> but since I got this going, I thought, okay, this is a perfect time to try an activated clay spray. What's an activated clay spray? Well, as you look at the bottom, you can see all the ingredients are just kind of, they're kind of like lumped up down there. It says shake vigorously for 10 seconds to activate the clays. You mix it, you spray it, you go about your day. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, if you have been following the Lockhart's uh, tarot cards, the labels are awesome. I like the little Dauntless. Um, you know, the color and everything and just the whole presentation is really, really beautiful for what this is. Then it's got the little chart on the side, which I've said this before in some of the recent Lockhart stuff. I'm a big fan of like the chart. So out of five here, we got the hold five out of five, volume five out of five, texture five out of five, shine zero. So this is definitely like a more matte product. Um, and then we got you know, for external use on the side, the ingredients, how to use it, and the results. Firm hold, moderate texture, high volume, the matte finish. What is this good for? If you have hair that, like mine, that is just long enough to put in a ponytail, but the sides stick out like this, really good keeping those sides back when you're in that weird, awkward middle phase. If you have short hair, this is awesome for that. I've let a couple of my friends with shorter hair use it and they get like this nice textured, like um, kind of like, well, that's it, just a textured volumized look that's like, that they say, they said it felt kind of almost like the hold of an orthodox pomade, but the pliability of a clay. And I would have to say that this definitely that's kind of the results of this. So let's activate this first and foremost. If you're going to be shaking this too, like I like to do it like this. Like I'm mixing a drink. Okay, anyways. I like to shake with the cap on because <laughs> I've had too many of these before that I've sh I've shook and the thing just flew off and went all over the place. And to be honest with you, I ain't about that anymore. So looking down at the bottom, you can see I've used quite a bit of this already just to show you because this thing comes pretty much packed to the brim. Now, how much do you need? Well, that is really up to you. Uh, it says shake the bottle, bottle until it emulsifies, spray liberally to damp hair or allow hair um, and then allow the hair to air dry. You know, if, if you've watched my channel, that's my technique. I always put products in, damp hair, 
and then just let it do its thing, and then I'll comb it out again. You can get good results with this, but I've noticed that if you do it in a damp hair and you don't comb it out again, it kind of gets a little like really, really intense hold. So if you're looking for intense hold, do that. If you're looking for less of a, like I said, kind of if more of a pliable like look, I would say spray it in your hair, let it sit, dry, then comb it if you're doing it in damp hair. If you're doing it um, in normal hair and then you blow dry, you'll get that right away. Which with this product, honestly, I'm just gonna say like right here and now, I think the best way to use it um, would be to spray it into dry hair or and blow dry it, damp hair and blow dry it. That's the best way to, I feel like right away, to get like a good, uh, response to this so another thing i want to say it says spray directly onto your hair you can do that you can just kind of like do this little maneuver but and i know this is gonna make me sound like an old man you can spray it into your hands and mix it in too don't let anyone tell you how to use a spray product like seriously um and also you can get a good uh, scent for the the spray on here too. Um, like if you put it on your hands. So let me put this in real quick. The other thing about this that I like because I don't feel like if, if you have short hair, honestly, I'll be real with you. I don't feel like you need like a ton of this stuff. I feel like a lot, will go, I feel like a, a, the bottle will go a long ways with this. However, if you have long hair like me, I feel like uh, putting a good amount works, letting it liberally, applying it liberally. So always when using any product, of course, use a comb so that it's evenly distributed through your hair. Look at this sweet mullet I got going on here. I look like, uh, I look like bitch Jared Leto. Uh, so, okay. So anyways, now what I would normally do if I was doing this, put it in a ponytail. That's what I would be doing. You can keep it swept back and then I can let this fall down throughout the day. This is mainly long hair talk here now. Or you can do this type of thing where you part it, sweep it back and let it fall naturally into place too. So really, you can see too already, cause I'm just jacking my hair up and messing it around with it. You can see that there's not a lot of shine, even with my dark hair. I mean, I'm directly under a light, so there's a little bit, but still. So let's say you put this into damp hair or wet hair and you comb your hair like this, right? What are you gonna wanna do? Well, let it sit. 10 minutes, and then run a comb through it again. So when this dries in my hair, what I'm gonna do is run a comb through it again. This is typically how I wear my part, just naturally where it's at. So what I'm gonna do is I'll comb this later or just let it dry. And then it's naturally just gonna keep this hold throughout the day. Overall, I am going to give this I think a 4.4 out of 5. I think that this is um, great. I think that this is, it works awesome as a clay. Uh, and if you want the feel of a clay without having to like, without the tact of having to put it in, then this stuff works great. What are the downsides of it? Well, um, I would say, you see it's already like setting, like I said, so I'm combing it to break it up a little bit. There we go. So what are the downsides of it? The only downside I can say of this is that I don't feel like it's super user-friendly. What do I mean by super user-friendly? I mean that somebody who doesn't know anything about hair products could get a hold of this, use it incorrectly, and be like, oh man, I, I, it didn't work the way that it said it would. It works the way that it says it does, if you use it the right way. Like I said, let it, put it in damp hair, either blow dry it and comb it into the desired position, or put it in damp hair, let it dry and comb it again. That's the best way to use this product. 
Um, so to me, I would say it's higher on the scale of um, user friendliness in that our anti-user friendliness, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I just wanna warn people going in that if you think you're just gonna spray this in your hair and get a good result, you can if you use a very small amount. But if you're putting a lot in and you you know have a lot of hair like me, this is gonna be something that, like I said, you need to use it a certain way, um, comb it a couple of times, you know. Uh, you can just spray it in and let it set. Like I said, I did that at first, but to me, it, it looked dry. It looked like a clay, but it almost felt, like I said, it almost felt like an orthodox style situation, um, a gel type, almost. With this, if I comb it again, after it dries, there's some pliability. I can mess with it. it you can get that volume. Like I said, you can get that like really voluminous like hairstyle if you want that, but you have to know how to use it. So that's my only thing. I know that Steve and, and, and Mike also talk about how to use products. And I know that uh, Steve does demos of uh, the products um, that he puts out. So I take a look at that. But anyways, the main thing I just wanna say about this product in general is that if you use it, you put it in damp hair and you don't use a blow dryer, just make sure to comb it twice. Comb it, let it sit 10 minutes, comb it again. You're gonna get better results that way. It's just the way it is. All you veteran hair people are like, shut up, dude, I already know how to do that. This is for the newbies out there. So uh, I like it, I think it's good. Um, the scent, like I was saying, the scent on this, I kind of started talking about it and trailed off what I typically do. It's like a lighter, there goes a the plane. It's like a lighter kind of cologne softer scent when you if you do spray a lot of this in your hair and you wash it out your hair will smell like it afterwards it's not a bad thing it smells good but anyways guys let me know what you think about this let me know if you've tried it and uh have a good one